third place, which is certain to secure a place in the final tomorrow. Well, it's up for grabs between Finland, Switzerland and Poland, unless something goes awfully wrong. Linda Keogh, if the mouth gets dry at this stage, but conditions very good indeed. Heavy rain, a thunderstorm in fact, in mid-afternoon. It didn't last long. The track is still a bit damp. But it's reasonably cool. And the Keogh. Had Achilles trouble on and off. Flirted with the 800 meters, but now back at 400. Reached the semi-final in the individual. Linda runs the second leg. Billy Smith, Great Britain, on the third leg. And Sally Gunnell, the anchor. It's a strong British team. They won't be pushing too hard in this one. Just making sure they qualify. The German team, Janka, the Royal Under, Kisika, or Kisiaka, and Rucker. The lead-off athlete, Neef for Great Britain, Heikunen for Finland, Schenk for Switzerland, Janka for Germany, Grey Vox of Poland. Michelle Schenk. Semi finalists in the 400 metre hurdles. Lane one empty, Britain in two, Finland in three, Switzerland four, Germany five, Poland in lane six. The semi final of the four by 400. The first three enter the final. There's a difficult leg because it's running lanes all the way. Pace judgment is very, very important. I saw Linda Keogh pointing out to Melanie Neat the takeover point marked on the track to make sure that she didn't make a mistake. Big responsibility for Neep. First international season and given the first leg. On the second leg, the athletes run the first bend in lanes and then break. Germany have gone well here through Yanka, but Neep has run a good one. And certainly there's not much between uh, Germany and Great Britain on this first leg. Now they stay in lane. And Keo is going to lead, I suspect, for Great Britain if she wants to. The German coming across. Rolander. And Keo lets her go. 200 metres left on this second leg. Germany lead, Great Britain in second place. A big gap. Finland third, Switzerland fourth. But this is fairly easy qualifying for Germany and Britain. But if Smith goes now for Great Britain. It's a Barker for Germany. Switzerland now in a clear third place, Finland in fourth, Poland way back in fifth. The first three sure to qualify. Well, Philly Smith is not letting the Germans dictate this. 
Just a Barker being shown the way. They don't need to run this out at all. They're so far ahead. They've got the final tomorrow. They're secure, providing they don't drop the baton. There's no point in this. However, clearly enjoying it. And she's made a point to the German. Sally Gunnell on the final leg. And it's Rooker for Germany. Good race for third place. And a certain qualifying spot between Switzerland with Proti on the anchor leg and Finland with Finnell on the anchor leg. Two hundred metres left. Gunnell relaxes. Just doing enough. That's the race for the certain third place. The poles closing up fast. Gunnell just uh, relaxed and striding. The German looks round. Not going to bother. So Great Britain qualify in front in the semi-final. Germany in second place. Switzerland finished third. Those are the three qualifiers. And Finland in fourth place. Have to wait and see. The time for Great Britain, 327.26. The unofficial splits, Neep, 52-3. On that first leg, that was a good one. Keo 51.8, Smith 50.8, and Gunnell an easy 52.3. It's a good team for Great Britain here. Whether they're good enough to take goal, we'll see tomorrow. Gunnell just going through the motions, so too is the German. Rooker was fifth in the flat 400. That's Protti in the background. Silver medalist in the 400 meter hurdles four years ago for Switzerland. I've had a rough time with injuries since, but uh, getting back to her best. And Switzerland, the third qualifiers.